Hello. Uh, today we're going to learn about the anatomy and uh, physiology of, uh, of the kidney. So we're going to use uh, some of the models to learn about the kidney. Uh, this is a section of, uh, of the kidney. The outer brown layer is a cover of the kidney known as the renal capsule or also they call it fibrous capsule. The outer layer of the kidney is known as the renal cortex. Then below it we have the renal medulla. And notice that the renal medulla is divided into sections they look like pyramids and for that reason they call these renal pyramids. The fluid coming down from the medulla will pass into what's known as the minor calyces. The minor calyces will connect together to form major calyces and the major calluses will connect together to form the renal pelvis and the renal pelvis will lead to the ureter. Also shown on the model two uh, major blood vessels. Uh, the red blood vessel here is known as the renal artery that will bring the blood to the kidney the blood that comes to the kidney uh, contains uh, liquid waste products that need to be removed by the kidney. So the blood will pass through the kidney and uh, then it will leave it through uh, the renal vein which is uh, shown on the model here in blue color. The second part that is shown on the model in here is, uh, is a section of uh, the kidney. Uh, it shows uh, the cover of the kidney, uh, the fibrous capsule. It shows the outer layer, the renal cortex. It also shows the lower layer, uh, the renal uh, medulla. Uh, in the renal cortex, we have all of these round structures which represents the renal corpuscles of the nephrons and uh, each kidney is estimated to have about one million nephrons and uh, the nephrons are basically the functional units of, uh, of the kidney and in this part of the model it shows the different sections of the nephron. So each nephron consists of the following. Renal corpuscle, proximal convoluted tubule, descending limb that goes down into the medulla, loop of Henle, or also known as the nephron loop, ascending limb, distal convoluted tubules. Again, each nephron is made up of renal corpuscle, proximal convoluted tubules, descending limb, loop of Henle, or nephron loop, ascending limb, and distal convoluted tubules. The nephrons will connect to this structure here, which is known as the collecting duct. So each collecting duct will collect from many nephrons. So these are the areas where the nephrons connect to the collecting ducts. Also shown in this part of the model are two important uh, 
group of blood capillaries, the one in the cortex area is uh, known as the peritubular capillaries associated with the nephron in the cortex area. And then in the medulla area, we have a group of capillaries known as vas vasa recta. And uh, these uh, capillaries are associated with the lower portion of the nephron that is located in the uh, medulla section. The third part of the model in here is shows the detailed structure of the renal corpuscle. So each renal corpuscle is made up of the glomerulus, and the glomerulus is a group of blood capillaries. The glomerulus is surrounded by epithelial tissue that forms a layer that's known as the glomerular capsule. This portion in here represents the beginning of the proximal convoluted tubules. And also shown in this model in here, two important blood vessels. This blood vessel in here brings the blood to the glomerulus. This is known as the efferent arteriole. The blood will pass through glomerulus and then will leave through this blood vessel in here known as the efferent arteriole. Also associated with these blood vessels and specifically with the efferent arteriole is this structure in here which is known as the juxtaglomerular apparatus. This controls the flow of blood into the glomerulus. The kidney is an important organ because it's associated with regulation of electrolytes in the body, water level in the body, and that's all part of the homeostasis of the body fluids. The kidney is, uh, is also important in uh, producing an enzyme called renin, which is associated with the production of angiotensin II. And angiotensin II is a vasoconstrictor that will increase blood pressure. The, the kidney is, uh, is also uh, important in producing a hormone known as erythropoietin which will stimulate the red bone marrow to produce red blood cells because when the blood passes through the kidney the level of oxygen will signal the kidney to produce the hormone if the oxygen level is low. So that's a very basic description of the anatomy and the physiology of the kid.